NVIDIA's DLSS technology has evolved positively over the years, offering gamers, developers, and enthusiasts an amazing way to improve the performance and image quality of games. Among the latest versions, DLSS 3.5 stands out, offering compelling improvements over their predecessors. And NVIDIA just announced DLSS 4, mentioning amazing upgrades. So how much will the improvement be, and what can players expect from these innovations? Let's find out. DLSS 4, introduced by NVIDIA at CES 2025, features multi-frame generation. This advanced feature is exclusive to NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 50 series GPUs, including the RTX 5090, 5080, 5070 Ti, and 5070. While DLSS 4's multi-frame generation is exclusive to the RTX 50 series, other GeForce RTX GPUs, such as the RTX 40 series and older models, will still support DLSS 4's frame generation and super resolution features. NVIDIA's DLSS 4 will have a big leap in comparison with 3.5 in AI-driven image, upscaling and performance enhancement. A standout feature is multi-frame generation, which can produce up to three additional frames for every traditionally rendered frame, potentially boosting frame rates by up to eight times over traditional methods. This enhancement enables 4K 240 FPS fully ray-traced gaming experiences. DLSS 4 also introduces one of its biggest upgrades to its AI models since the release of DLSS 2.0. It incorporates a new transformer-based AI model, enhancing temporal stability, reducing ghosting, and improving motion detail. This model powers DLSS ray reconstruction, DLSS super resolution, and deep learning anti-aliasing, resulting in sharper and more detailed images. For all GeForce RTX GPUs, DLSS games can be updated with new Transformer AI models, improving performance and image quality while reducing ghosting and VRAM usage by 30%. At the same time, its updated frame generation AI model is 40% quicker and only needs to be run once per rendered frame to generate several frames. For instance, in Warhammer 40,000, Darktide, the model delivered a 10% increase in frame rate while reducing memory usage by 400 megabytes at 4K resolution with max settings and DLSS frame generation enabled. Notable difference in FPS is also found as it reached 124 FPS to 137 FPS. The new DLSS transformer model uses a vision transformer that allows self-attention operations, enabling the system to assess pixel importance across an entire frame and multiple frames. With double the parameters of the CNN model, it provides deeper scene understanding, resulting in improved pixel generation, greater stability, reduced ghosting, higher motion detail, and smoother edges. In ray-traced content, the transformer model enhances image quality, especially in scenes with complex lighting. For example, in Alan Wake 2, it improves stability on detailed objects like chain-link fences, reduces ghosting on fan blades, and eliminates shimmering on power lines, creating a more immersive experience. The Transformer model for Super Resolution shows similar improvements, offering better temporal stability, less ghosting, and enhanced motion detail. A beta version will be released for users to explore these advancements and provide feedback. Also, if you are concerned about DLSS-induced latency in a specific scenario, using technologies like NVIDIA Reflex alongside DLSS can help further reduce latency in competitive gaming environments. And surprisingly, the reduction of latency can be done up to 75%. Moreover, the new multi-frame generation and transformer-based DLSS models are fully compatible with existing DLSS integrations. With the launch of GeForce RTX 50 series graphics cards, gamers will gain access to DLSS multi-frame generation in 75 games and apps. Additionally, all GeForce RTX users can experience enhanced visuals with transformer-based DLSS Ray Reconstruction, DLSS Super Resolution, and DLAA in over 50 titles. For games yet to adopt the latest DLSS features, NVIDIA is introducing a DLSS override feature through the NVIDIA app. Once users install the new GeForce Game Ready Driver and NVIDIA app update, DLSS override options will be easily accessible. NVIDIA plans to expand DLSS override game support as further testing is completed. Though DLSS 4 has just been announced, its expected features seem promising. 
While DLSS 3.5 sets a high bar with its frame generation and AI-driven improvements, DLSS 4 is going to take it to the next level, making gaming experiences even more immersive. Ultimately, the difference you will notice depends on your hardware, the games you play, and whether you value performance, visual quality, or both. If you are on the fence about upgrading, DLSS 4's advancements might just be the innovator you have been waiting for. So keep your finger crossed and wait for the release to have in hand experience on it. Till then, stay tuned for more updates.